Okay, hi YouTube, Mr. Teaser Boss here, and this is my video on my top 5 apps and games of February to March 2015. So number 1 is called Sleep Cycle, and I absolutely love this. So this app costs 99p, but will save you a lot more than that in the long run. So what it actually is, is an alarm clock with a special feature. So you basically set a time that you want to wake up, and it'll actually wake you up within a half an hour period, ending at the time you decide is the latest that you want to wake up. You then actually place your phone on your bed during your sleep and it will monitor your activity. It will then wake you up when you're in your lightest form of sleep to ensure that you're most awake when you actually get up. Does it work? Absolutely, and I'm so surprised. It also offers detailed statistics on your sleep and gives you tips to improve it, so really, really cool here. So number two is 1010 Puzzle. So when you sort of look at this game, you'll think it looks like another very generic minimalistic style Android puzzle game, but actually this one is seriously cool. So the aim of the game, as per usual, is to maximise your score, and the way this works is you actually place different sized and different shaped blocks on this grid, and the number of blocks that the piece you're placing is worth is how many points you'll get for it. You can fill up rows and columns, which will then clear them in the process, earning you even more points, so basically this works out as a set of Tetris with more control. And what I really like is there's much more here about the thought process than luck, which is, you know, really important for this type of game. Now the third game I want to talk about is Pro Snooker 2015. So this is actually a free game to download, but without actually paying £3.49, your features are severely limited. Having said that, if you do splash out, you're getting the most full-featured pool game ever to exist on an Android device. There's a huge amount of different games you can actually play, difficulties to adjust, tables to play on, and modes to actually use. So yeah, there is a lot here. You can adjust things like spin, when you're actually hitting the ball, your chalk, your angle. There's, this is more like a simulator than just a game, although it will still appeal to casual users because it is quite easy to access. Having said that though, the CPU is slightly artificial, as in you can sort of tell that it either does some really, really awful shots, or it just does some literally impossible shots, and so there's a slight inconsistency there, but it's still a very good simulator. Number 4. This app is called Screen Paper, and it's now my go-to wallpaper app on any Android device. It actually offers a combination of a slimmed down package, so the actual app is only about 20 megabytes. It offers a clean interface and ultra high resolution wallpapers with no ads whatsoever. It's literally perfect, it's exactly what I wanted. So the wallpapers range anywhere from flat wallpapers to lollipop wallpapers to material to animals to nature, so there's a huge variety here. And what I really like is the resolution. They go anywhere from 2K to 4K, so it really is a pleasant experience to look at. So the last game on my list is called Skyward. Now as you can see, this is very resemblant of Monument Valley, which is a hugely successful and highly, highly rated Android game. So the objective is to get as high as you can in this tower, hence the name, and you basically play as a red and a blue circle. You tap the screen to stick to the nearest surface, and there is actually a little bit of optical illusion play going on here, and it's quite fascinating to see it in action. It's extremely difficult, but incredibly rewarding. That's it from me guys, thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more.